Uh, yeah, it really is, Jen. And I love the Charles H. Wright Museum. No matter when it is, I have an opportunity to come because they always have such incredible programming. Right now, they have an exhibit called Voting Matters. It is a broad and deep exhibit that covers five main areas. Right now, we are in the section of women's suffrage. And I'm here this morning with Edward Foxworth and you know I love this museum and you have expanded and adapted throughout the course of the pandemic to offer both virtual and in-person exhibits. Yeah, and that's one of the exciting things about the museum. We have somewhat weathered the pandemic, the, the roughest part of it, but uh, in the meantime, we put up the brand new exhibit called Voting Matters. Uh, as you mentioned, all five of those components. And women's suffrage is really one of the components that a lot of people don't get a chance to really pay attention to, right? They hear about men advocating for the abolition of slavery and so forth, but there were women like Sojourner Truth and uh, others who really played a significant role. Yeah, this is quite a timeline as we walk through. We're seeing articles and photos. And uh, 1913, we have uh, Mary Church Terrell, this timeline that really uh, takes us through the history. You had said that during this month, while every month is technically Black History Month here at the Charles yes. H. Wright, this month does give you an opportunity to meet and connect with uh, people who perhaps aren't familiar with your museum. We really do, and we're getting people traveling from everywhere, from the suburban suburbs of Southeast Michigan. They're they're flying in and and coming in and, and checking out the museum. We're really excited about this time because you know we came off of Kwanzaa in December. MLK Day in January, and now Black History Month is really one of our biggest months. Um, we're looking forward to uh, Women's History Month in March, and then Juneteenth in the month of June. So there are a lot of things that are happening here at the museum, and we want people to come on down to experience those things. They can go to the right Dot org to see all of the virtual activities and programs that we have online where we moved a lot of our activities to. Um, but we certainly invite them to come down and check out our exhibits. We got the Tuskegee uh, Airmen National Museum as part of this facility now for at least the next 10 years, as well as Voting Matters and, uh, and uh, of course, uh, And Still We Rise, our permanent exhibit. Yes, a powerful exhibit and still we rise and incredible new exhibits and so wonderful that you've been able to adapt and reach people in so many different ways and meet people where they're at as far as their health or their own comfortability level and still able to engage with Charles H. Wright's uh, many, many programs. So we're going to be exploring some of the programs and uh, this is just one small corner of the exhibit. So we'll be exploring more of that coming up in just a little bit. Jen, back to you.